and welcome back to the Boat Gang. Uh, a couple months ago, actually, well, maybe three or four months ago, I actually cracked my front canard up here and um, actually repaired it. I, I feathered it out, laid down some uh, carbon fiber cloth, okay, laminated it, two or three layers of carbon fiber cloth, top and bottom, and I painted the winglet yellow. Okay, um, the yellow, it really didn't match this yellow, and it's been like bugging me. Okay, so um, my last outing with the boat actually broke my strut shank, <laughs> ruined the propeller, and my rudder. So I'm waiting on some parts. The boat's out of commission right now. So what we're going to do, we're going to lay out a piece of carbon fiber. Okay, top and bottom on the front canard here. Okay, um, and we're not going to paint it. I want it to be carbon fiber. On top, right. laminate it onto the winglet. Do the same thing on the bottom, and uh, we should we should end up with a nice carbon fiber winglet. Okay, probably going to do some sanding, and then we'll go over it again with epoxy. All right, so uh, stick around. I'm just going to kind of highlight the build process. I'm not going to make a full tutorial. Just going to be a highlight. Okay, you guys, enjoy it. So I got it feathered top and bottom on both sides. I'm actually really glad I did this because when I touched the grinder, like right, like to this little area right here, a, a big chunk just kind of fell out. You know what I mean? So I'm actually really glad I'm doing this. I got it down to some good fiberglass, okay? And I, I basically feathered it to my tape and basically all of that will be chopped up fiberglass or chopped up carbon fiber and epoxy it made me like a kind of a thick mixture here i got that whole void filled where i where i um I, I, I like feathered around the winglet the little canard up here okay got it like kind of shaped okay nice and nice like nice layup all right and uh, that's basically going to set us up for the carbon fiber cloth that we run across the winglet so we don't have like a a terrible looking transition from the winglet to the to the hull itself okay so i'm gonna flip it over here all right same thing on the top side okay it actually looks pretty good pretty good may uh well i know i'm gonna sand it and i may like feather a little bit more into the hull and fill it in again just so we get some like a nice like uh filled fillet looking area so we get a nice transition you know i think it's going to be cool looking all right so i got two applications of epoxy i sanded the first one then reapplied now i've got it sanded in profile top side and bottom side that's going to actually blend in our carbon fiber that we lay down okay the ends because it may tether once we lay it out and that uh that it's actually acting as a you know a buffer for the transition and it's supporting the winglet okay I've, uh, I've got my winglet sanded and contoured the way I want it okay I blunged it to both sides of it so we can get a nice sharp leading and trailing edge on it so um, I'm gonna cut this I'm gonna lay it out I'll show you what it looks like when I get the top side and then I'll show you what it looks like when I get the bottom yes sir buddy yes sir buddy it looks sick <laughs> yeah so I'll, I'll sand it and profile it I gotta trim it up because I left the overhang on there you know what I'm saying I'll sand it we'll coat another application of uh, epoxy and then sand it maybe another application of epoxy I gotta do the bottom so I've got to cut all the access off right there do the bottom and then we'll trim it up join the two you know kind of make it look seamless uh, I wanted to wrap it but uh, I, I know I wouldn't have been able to get it to lay down without any air bubbles. So I, I'm going this route. You know, that looks good. Let's go look good. Boom shakalaka. Oh, man, that looks good, y'all. That looks good. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir, buddy. All right, I got it. The bottom done. Okay, so now, now I'm going to actually start shaping up and sanding the canard okay gonna gonna like uh i'm gonna like carefully ever so thoughtfully put my angle on that winglet okay um i've been doing it this whole time but now is the time to do it like to really really refine the shape 
you know I want to get I want to get just enough downforce to keep her down just enough to let her float you know what I'm saying but not too much to where she's shoving down into the water and the ass ends coming up you know what I'm saying so uh, I'm gonna take this 80 grit knock it down then I'm gonna step it up to uh, 220 probably go to 500 uh, once I hit 500 I'll probably throw a well probably just do 220 because I'm about to epoxy it one more time I know I'm not gonna get all those little low spots well I don't know it looks pretty good still gonna have to put it one more coat of epoxy on so I can do my final wet sand and then wax it you know all right so I just come back from the shop I just finished up sanding it okay you got to be really really careful not to sand into the carbon fiber I was super super duper careful which right there you can see the discoloration right there I might have barely nicked it okay but um I got it profiled the way I want it got the edges profiled I got the bottom it looks the same so uh, we're gonna clean it up you should see the shine okay you should see what it's gonna look like when it's done oh yeah oh yeah yes sir buddy D U N D. <laughs> oh my God, it turned out so good. Oh, I'm so freaking stoked, you guys. What do you think? Oh man, it was worth the week and a half working on it. <laughs> Which I would only work on it in the evenings, maybe 20, 30 minutes here. The next day, 20, 30 minutes, you know, sand it, put some epoxy on it type deal. It wasn't too bad. I wasn't in no rush to finish it up, but um, I got the leading edge pretty steep leading edge angle here I, I took my time with it and uh, hopefully I got it where she gets a little bit of downforce but kind of floats at the same time I uh, took a lot of time getting the edges contoured getting it cleaned up to the hull so I get a decent transition from carbon fiber to paint I did the best I could you can see the little spider web I had here which uh, I'm gonna try to I'm going to try to tidy it up a little bit more, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and get this video out for you guys today. Uh, same with this. I got a little bit of spider webbing, which I cut most of it out, but um, I think it turned out good. So uh, after I did that coat of epoxy, I basically wet sanded the boat. Okay, I, I wet sanded it with 220, 500, and then I, and then I did my final wet sand with 1,000. Okay, my final wet sand, I used wax. I basically scooped up some wax, wet sanded it, and I would use water with Dawn dishwashing liquid in the in the waxy uh, wet sand mix. Okay, I'd keep it lubricated with that Dawn and water, you know, and really lightly hit it. And then I took my my buffer with a microfiber bonnet and uh, hit it with some turtle wax. Okay, and uh, it got it pretty shiny, pretty shiny, man. Turned out really good really really good i'm pretty stoked so i'm gonna flip it over so you guys can see the bottom <clears throat> all right so the bottom looks pretty good it took a little bit more time on the top trying to get the edges contoured but uh it actually turned out pretty good here all right looks good looks good like i said i got some up angle on the trailing edge down angle on the leading edge hopefully she floats i did a little bit of work on my ride pads while i had it you know flipped over all right and picking it up from the from the canard <laughs> i would never pick it up with the fiberglass winglet like straight up and down like that but it turned out good all right so um i got my speedmaster sport 21 strut assembly in we're gonna be installing this here shortly all right and the dual pickup UL19 upgraded rudder. Okay, so uh, hopefully this helps you guys out. I think it turned out great. I like it a lot better than that yellow. So uh, maybe you guys learned something. I don't know. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time.